Hi, sir. Which is Gary Sinise? I'm Gary Sinise. Well, I'm still to take a picture of you. Well, <laughs> we will absolutely get a picture. You bet. We're at Los Angeles Airport for the Gary Sinise Foundation Soaring Valor event down to the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. Hey, everybody. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Sir, thank you for being here. Thank We're going to have a good time getting to know each other. Yeah, Lieutenant Dan, I'm also. <laughs> in 26 years with American Airlines, I can't think of a day that resounds more strongly than today as we celebrate the freedom that we have as a country because of the sacrifices of the men in this room today. We have the privilege today of taking about 45 World War II veterans. None of them have ever seen the National World War II Museum, and we're honored to be able to share this trip with them. And with great partners like American Airlines who offer us the transportation to take these heroes to New Orleans, we are able to do great things. This is the way to fly, huh? Enjoy your trip. A selfie. I'm serving some heroes here. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in some bread? Uh, that's a tasty little piece there. One of these, yeah, beautiful. That's good with the pasta there. This would be a new experience for me. I'm overwhelmed it's just to be here with these old timers. They got a lot of stories, and I like the way they tell them. <laughs> Watching the World War II veterans come through the concourse was incredible to watch the looks on the faces of the men and women serving today and the baseball teams that were here with us and, the, and, the, and just the general travelers in this airport to welcome them to this region. It's just been phenomenal. Gentlemen, I look at you and I think of the words of Stephen Spender's poem. You are men who in your lives fought for life and left the vivid air signed with your honor. Welcome to the World War II Museum. Yes, is that something? There is a profound moral difference between the use of force for liberation and the use of force for conquest. You were here to liberate. All of you loved liberty. All of you were willing to fight tyranny. And you knew the people of your countries we're behind you. Magnificent words from Ronald Reagan on the 40th anniversary of the game. We're all looking forward to the major portion of the tour, which starts with Beyond All Boundaries, the documentary that I had the privilege of doing the voice of Ernie Pyle in. When Tom Hanks was working with me and Phil Hedema, to develop our epic 4D experience beyond all boundaries. Tom Hanks said, get Gary Sinise for Ernie Pyle, and it was perfect. And all around below were the shadows, the dark shadows of buildings and bridges that formed the base of this dreadful masterpiece. One word, wow. I just loved every minute of it. Everybody should see it. Everybody. After they come out of Beyond All Boundaries, they'll go into the brand new exhibits that opened last December, The Road to Berlin, which will go through North Africa, Sicily, and Italy, and then sweep up into France and the D-Day invasions and penetrating deep into Germany. We'll tell that story from land, sea, and air, and how America's military might gradually came to bear to destroy the Third Reich. It brings back a lot of memories, and it's real. Then they'll go to the Louisiana Pavilion, where Visitors begin the journey through World War II in a train station where everybody went to war or came home and they'll actually enjoy a simulated ride. And they'll go to the Kushner Restoration Pavilion and they'll see PT-305. We're restoring a Higgins PT boat that was built here in New Orleans in 1943. It's going to be put in the water next summer. It's about 80% finished. Then the last place they will come to is the U.S. Freedom Pavilion, which tells the story of the military power through the planes and the tanks and the weapons of the war, as well as 
uh, Medal of Honor exhibits and additional oral history. Lunchtime will be a USO experience with our Victory Bells, so uh, that'll be fun too. A kiss is just a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. Ah, the fundamental things apply as time goes by. I'm a bird! Yeah. <laughs> and when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you, on that you can rely. The goal of this museum is to tell the American experience in World War II. They're not going plane after plane out of the sky. The National World War II Museum prides itself on the oral history collection that we required. Well, I said, Colonel, do you want to turn short? we got a log bomb run, we can turn short and then go right over that point. The Garrison East Foundation provided funds that allows us to hire another historian. And it's a race against time because the vast majority of these gentlemen and ladies are in their late 80s and early 90s and some of them are even older than that. We have to get these stories before they're lost forever. None of us can ever take for granted what you did for all of us. God bless you gentlemen. God bless you. I'd like you to think back to when you were in the middle of World War II and you were waiting for those letters from home. It is now time for mail call. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. More fun than a girl, aren't you?